Hello and welcome to another health nugget for kids. It's always a pleasure having you here, Justin, to tell our children about things that will help them to be healthy. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when a new health nugget is available. And we want you to prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospered. Today, we're going to be looking at a subject that you might wonder, what does this have to do with our health? If you should give this, the, the title of your, of your presentation today, Justin, what would you call it? What's the trust time? and obey. Trust and obey. Children need to trust and obey. Where did you get that from? Do you have anything to to say? What tells us of the need to trust? Do you have anything from the Bible to share about that? Yes, this Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on to own understanding and always in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths oh so we're saying trust in the lord and don't lean on to understand it what exactly does that mean as a child from a children's perspective a child's perspective what does that mean it means to believe of something and to do it so but this belief as you are written in the scripture is to what believe in who god to believe in God, to trust him and not lead on to your own understanding. But we see so many Disney movies that says, follow your heart, follow your heart. Is it to believe? It, it says we should trust the Lord with all our heart. It didn't say to trust our heart. It says trust the Lord with all our heart. Now, was there ever, because you're here now giving instruction to children, they need to trust the Lord, don't follow their heart, follow the Lord. Is there ever a time when you did not trust and obey? Yes, there has. What happened? So my auntie made some hot chocolate for us and she said not to drink it because it is hot. And I thought that even though if I if I blow it, it'll be cool. But when I tasted it, it was very hot and it, it burnt my um, taste buds. So oh. I couldn't go to taste anything for a while mercy why did that happen your taste bud got ruined you got burned because what i didn't trust or obey you didn't obey you trust you didn't believe her and you didn't obey and you know as you said that thinking about the taste bud being burned it reminds me of a commandment that says children obey your parents it says obey your father and your mother why so that your days may be long so that you live longer so that you live without hurt right you don't get your taste buds burned. So what are the ways you can trust and obey God and your parents? Because the Bible did say obey your parents, you know? Maybe look in the Bible for verses that show why you should listen or pray to, and ask God for trust to be able to trust and obey your elders. But what happened though? Is it everything your parent tell you or everything God tell you that you want to do? No. Yes. But what should we do when they tell us to do something that we don't want to do? Always know that they know the right. Right. And even if our earthly parents you know stumble at time, God never stumbles. And his word is always true and you said they should read the Bible. Read the Bible and obey God. And obeying God sometimes is not very comfortable, but we can ask him to give us the strength to obey. Because, you know, when the Bible says, honor your father and your mother, that your days may be um, long upon the land. If you honor and trust God, that's real life that you'll be getting right there. Not just earthly life, but the everlasting life. Now, Justin, what do you want to say to children today? Any last word of counsel? I want to tell them that it's always good to trust and obey your parents because sometimes you get good things from doing it. Right. And you know, there's a scripture that says, children obey your parents in the Lord. As long as your parents are not telling you anything that goes against God's word, because not all parents are good parents. 
You know, not all parents follow the Lord. We should obey our parents. We should obey the government. We should do all of that as long as whatever they are telling us is not going against what God is written in his word. Because who gets the ultimate obedience? Who should we obey more than anybody else or anything God. else? God. So all remember, trust and obey. That's the only way to be happy in Jesus when we trust and obey thank you so much for stopping by justin and for reminding our children everywhere small children big children small medium and big children adults always remember trust god obey him there is life in it remember to like share subscribe hit that notification bell remember to know when a new health nugget is available and share this visit videos with others so that they can enjoy gems of truth that you are enjoying today. Thank you for watching.